Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to understand what is meant by sexual deceit. There is a flowering plant called commonly called Mediterranean orchid or ophrys. Ophrys in order to continue, continue its evolution or its race, it must undergo pollination. To undergo pollination, it needs a specific pollinator. Specific pollinator preferred by Ophrys is a bumblebee. Now, how to attract the pollinator? There, it adopts a unique phenomena, sort of mimicry, whereby we can observe its flowers. All petals are similar, but it has modified one of its petals in terms, in terms of a female bumblebee. Okay, it is modification is in terms of size. It resembles similar in size to the male bumblebee, similar in color, similar in all marking patterns. So, what happens is bumblebee, male bumblebee, to uh, live, it needs continuous copulation. If it doesn't get female bee, it, it won't be able to copulate, then it's it will die. So, to prevent the death, male bee has to continuously copulate with the female bee. But uh, the alive female bee won't be available everywhere. So, what happens is male bumblebee, for copulation purpose, when it is in search of female, it finds a flower. But since one of the petal of the flower has been modified into female bee, male won't be uh, able to distinguish that it is a petal, it thinks that it is a female bee only. Apart from that, flower releases certain chemicals similar to female bee. So, male bee think that exact, uh, it thinks that there is a female bee, but it is a petal. So, it goes, sits on the female bee, copulates, copulation is here pseudo copulation. Why pseudo copulation? Because it is not a, not a true sexual intercourse. Instead, male bee is copulating with the petal so that whatever mechanical movements during copulation occurs, uh, it occurs in the flower itself. And during that process, pollen grain sticks, to, sticks onto the male bee. Now, once copulation is over, sometimes it releases sperms also, male bee, which is of no use, waste. So now, male bee after copulation, having received the pollen grain, it will go to the next, go in search of one more female. There, if it comes in contact with a, another flower, so first flower, second of its plant and its flower, where if it is having modified female bee petal, male bee carrying pollen grain copulates with it, during which pollen grain present on the male bee is pollinated onto another flower. So, this is how pollen from one flower is pollinated to another flower. So, what is the, what kind of interaction it is? It is a mutualism. Mutualism in the sense both plant, a flowering plant as well as uh, the associate that is bumblebee are benefited. How? May, a plant gets benefited by having pollination. Bumblebee gets benefited by getting the chance of copulation. If it doesn't undergo copulation, its race will also end. As I mentioned, copulation is necessary for them. So, this is about sexual deceit. What is deceit here? Deceit means fooling. Here, male, here the flower by modifying its petal fo uh, fools the male bumblebee in terms of sexual act. Now, what is co-evolution? Suppose if petals slightly change its markings or color, whether the pollination will occur? No, pollination does not occur. If the male bee changes its color, how to, uh, male bee change, when the male bee color is changed, pollination will be prevented. So, how to overcome that problem? Female bee also must change themselves as per the male color pattern. So, together they must evolve, that is called co-evolution. Without co-evolution, uh, this kind of pollination is not possible or mutualism is not possible. 
So these are the things we have learnt about sexual deceit, pseudocopulation, mutualism, pollination, mimicry. Mimicry is shown by petal. Pseudocopulation is shown by bee and the coevolution. I hope you have liked it. If you liked it, please click the like button. Thank you.